Canada is ill-prepared for the effects of widespread technological disruption reshaping the global economy, Finance Minister Bill Morneau's expert panel of economic advisors are warning in a set of reports scheduled for release this week. To prevent the country's economic growth from falling behind that of other nations, the group is recommending a modernization of Canada's tax and regulatory systems to make them more innovation-friendly. In addition, it is calling for a $15 billion spending surge to retrain workers so their skills are up to speed in a rapidly shifting labor market. Story continues below advertisement. The recommendations are contained in advance drafts of the latest reports from the 14-member group, formerly known as the Advisory Council on Economic Growth, obtained by the Globe and Mail. The latest wave of recommendations is geared towards preparing our economy to capture the opportunities and handle the disruption coming over the next decade, said Council Chair Dominic Barton, Global Managing Director of Consultancy McKinsey & Co. Mr. Barton was one of several council members who spoke with the Globe about their third set of recommendations to government since the council's formation in March, 2016. The world is going through a period of unprecedented change, which offers many opportunities but also brings significant volatility, the council writes in one of the documents, received by Mr. Morneau earlier this month. Canada must be prepared to navigate this change and volatility. It can no longer rely on the old formula for economic growth, which emphasized investments in machinery and equipment, and population growth. The new reports come as Mr. Morneau crafts his third budget, for release in early 2018. They likely provide a sense of policy themes under consideration given the government's close cooperation with the Council and quick action on several of its past calls. Proposals that have been adopted include the launch of an infrastructure bank, the creation of a federal entity to promote foreign investment into Canada, and changes to boost immigration levels and hasten the process for high-skilled foreigners to move here. A spokesperson for Mr. Morneau said the minister has had good discussions with the council and will carefully review its suggestions as he prepares the budget. The Council has focused on finding ways to grow economic output per capita at a 1.8% annual pace. While that is close to average levels over the past 50 years, it's also well above the forecast pace of 0.8% in years ahead that would leave Canada lagging other advanced economies. Achieving the higher rate would boost median household income in 2030 by $15,000 above forecasts. Its latest recommendations focus on boosting business investment an area where Canada has chronically lagged global peers and upgrading the skills of Canadians. To achieve the first goal, the Council is calling for the creation of an expert panel to suggest targeted changes to tax law, including corporate and personal tax rates. We want to ensure that we have a tax system that really encourages and supports innovation and encourages investment in both the hardware and the software that companies need said Council Member Elise Allen, Chief Executive of General Electric Co.'s Canadian Unit.